Hi everybody, Allison Williams, the law firm mentor here. Uh, it is Friday afternoon, January 12th, and I decided that I was going to make a video today to talk a little bit about interviews because I have an interview coming up just this afternoon. So I'm interviewing an attorney to join my firm, and this attorney does not have the traditional background in family law. In fact, uh, this attorney has been a prosecutor for uh, many years. So the interesting thing about this is that um, I have really opened myself up to hiring people who are not the traditional hire. What I mean is that I've really created uh, for my firm a system whereby I'm, I'm looking to get the right people in terms of their mindset, their values, uh, their work ethic, what they can contribute as an individual, much more so than the number of years they practice family law or the number of motions they've written or judges they've appeared before. And I've done this several times before, uh, and each time that I've uh, allowed myself <laughs> the freedom to hire someone using this model, we've had very good results. So right now I have uh, a couple of really uh, bright stars on my team who are great attorneys, who are sharp, dynamic, capable lawyers, litigators, everything that I need, but they are not um, an attorney who practiced family law for a certain number of years. They really came to family law either at my firm or close in time to coming here. They only knew a little bit, but I can pour all the substance in the world into them with the knowledge that I have in family law, but what I can't pour into anyone and that will never be available for any type of candidate, and this applies across the board, is I can't give you a work ethic, I can't give you the right attitude uh, toward other people, and including our clients, and I can't make you into the type of person that I want to be around, right? Uh, those things are pretty intuitive and they are a part of who you are. So. I give that as a tip to uh, the lawyers out there who are looking to hire ca talent for your firms. You might want to consider somebody who has all the right stuff to be the great asset to your firm, but may not necessarily have the substantive experience. That's the easiest part to put uh, on someone's resume. The one thing you can't teach someone is a desire uh, to learn. <laughs> so if they have that desire to learn, you might want to give them a shot. Uh, there's some more criteria, obviously, to consider, which we're going to be talking about in some of the programs that are coming up uh, through the Law Firm Mentor. But at least for now, I just wanted to give that little tidbit, and I hope that it finds you well and that you're approaching this wonderful weekend with great tips uh, and ideas for your business. <laughs>